Hey guys, it's Harley Wood. Welcome back. The title of this video, this sucks. Today we're going to look at the VanQuest 8x18 and the 25 liter bags. Um, I took an initial look at these at SHOT Show 2020 and I'll post a link in the description below to that. These bags do not suck. So let me clarify. What sucks is I got these bags for work. All right, I work in downtown Atlanta. I live about 35 miles outside of that and I travel to and fro every single day. Then coronavirus and I am working from home through the end of the year. <laughs> I've, uh, they, they first sent us home the beginning of March, I think, or mid-March, and I uh, just got word last week that we're gonna work from home through the end of the year. This sucks. Not the bag, but the fact that now I don't really get to use the bag, um, at least not the way I intended, but we're still gonna review it. Um, I'm disappointed. I was looking forward to it. Maybe next year when they have a new bag. I don't know. If you've watched the channel for any period of time, you'll know that I love VanQuest bags. I've reviewed quite a few bags on the channel, Maxpedition, some others, and I keep coming back to VanQuest. Um, for a while, um, Direct Action Gear was my favorite. I used their laptop bag for work. I used their Ghost for my get home bag. And you can see right here, well, you kind of can't see. There is the Ibex 35 from uh, VanQuest. I switched to that not too long ago. Link in the description below to that review. Here is the 18 and here is the 25. I'll post the links to these in the description below so you can check out all the dimensions. We're gonna go over some of just the interior features and exterior features of these bags. Now, the 25 is built more so for a 17 inch laptop. The 18 is built more for a 15 inch laptop. And as you can see here, I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro and it fits perfectly inside of that. Let's go over the insides. Now this is the 18. They're both effectively the same other than the exterior dimensions. So we're gonna focus on this one. I kind of already teased the back compartment a little bit. Here is an elastic retention strap. My 15 inch MacBook Pro fits perfectly in there. There is a full loop panel on the back side here. In front of that is a more shallow pocket that doesn't quite go all the way to the bottom and is perfect for probably like a tablet or an iPad. And in front of that is a more kind of general dump pouch area. It goes all the way to the bottom. All right, if we go to the middle compartment here. Now, I don't off body carry, but I did want to show you how you could possibly use that uh, loop panel in the back there. VanQuest sells these Velcro holster accessories so that you can affix them inside of any of their, their bags. This is a pouch that goes all the way to the bottom. And then there are two water bottle pouches on either side with elastic retainer straps. In the front here is another kind of see-through pouch with that ripstop fabric. And the front pouch here has a ton of organizational space. All right, you've got another kind of ripstop pouch in the front there. You've got a Velcro panel back here with a key ring keeper. And all of these elastic straps here. Here's one of the things, if you've watched my videos on VanQuest, that I absolutely love. They are organization focused, all right? Their bags are built to help you organize your gear. I have bought bags from London Bridge and there's nothing like this on the inside of some of them. So literally, you just throw all your pens and pencils in the inside of a big pouch. VanQuest is very, very organization minded. And I love the high contrast orange interior, helps you kind of keep track of stuff, especially if it's dark and you need to look inside and find something, at least you have that contrast. All right, and then the last zippered pouch on the front right here, you can tell I'm a gun guy, right? As soon as I saw this and I opened it up, there's three pouches that are exactly the size for AR-15 magazines. So uh, I'm obviously a gun guy because that's the first thing my mind went to. I'm sure for others, it would be perfect for a TI-85 calculator. There's a better look at those three pouches, all right? And on the front side of each of those are additional kind of elastic retention straps that you could slide in, even Glock magazines or your pencils. Okay, for frame of reference, I'm six foot tall, 225 pounds. This is how the 18 liter bag fits. and the 25 liter.
Let's take a look at the outside. So the Cordura Multicam Black Fabric, it does come in a couple different colors. Um, I'll roll some of those in on the screen here so that you can see. Multicam Black is by far my favorite. It's what I've been getting everything in lately. These zippers have these nice pull tabs on them, so it makes it very easy to engage the zippers. The back zipper here, which is where the laptop would go, is kind of that weather sealing, all right? Now, I wouldn't say it's waterproof, obviously, but it's definitely more weather resistant with that rubber edge around it. The other zippers on the bag do not have that. Carry handles, I'm gonna be honest, all right? They're just a nylon handle. I do like some of their other bags in the past that have been more of the padded handles. They have them on the top as well as one on each side. There is a sternum strap on this. It is flexible and it does adjust for ride height. It also has a rape whistle. And on the bottom, there are two strips of lashing points. So if you wanted to tie your jacket up on the bottom or a bedroll or something like that. One of the things that many of you will like is that these aren't overtly tactical. Now I got the multicam black, obviously, but here I gotta say, even that's becoming kind of fashionable now, man. I see people walking around with multicam pants on and stuff like that. And it's just be kind of coming a thing. So I don't even think this is gonna draw much attention anymore. Um, but there are other color options if that does concern you. It's not overtly tactical with Molly all over it and stuff like that. So I feel like this is something, I work a fairly semi-professional job downtown Atlanta. And I feel like this is something that I could easily take in there and not draw much attention. Again, I hate that I'm not really gonna be able to use this this year. I mean, you know, if we go on trips, like my, my family and I, we're going on an out of town trip next week for the Father's Day week. I'll obviously I have to take my laptop with me, I'll take this, but I'm not gonna be rocking it every day to the office like I thought I would. And uh, that kind of sucks because I was really looking forward to it. But it is what it is. I hope you guys are all staying safe out there. Um, I know this is a crazy time, not only with the coronavirus, but also all this other madness that's going on out there. Um, stay safe guys. I hope you like this video. I'm gonna post a link in the description below to where you can get each of these. At the time of filming this video, the smaller version is 139, I believe, and the 25 liter is 159. So it's about a $20 difference. Links are in the description below where you can get them. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon so you know when I release a video. I've got lots more to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's try this again, this time with the microphone. Hey guys, it's Harley.